You may recall Dr. Lindelani Mguni, a Gauteng academic we featured on the show last year. Starting out as a gardener, Lindelani pushed himself hard to get a PhD. Lindelani has since written a book to inspire young people who are going through difficulties. We tagged along as he was giving a motivational session in Bronkerspreit. Lindelani Mguni knows all about poverty in rural South Africa. He was born and raised on a Moi River farm in KwaZulu-Natal. If a pig dies and it's, you know, consumable, he would say to the people, you can, you can eat it, obviously, so we'd share that among... I mean, the farm had about 50 families. So we'd share that. And at times, um, he, the, the pig would die, but it's not supposed to be eaten by the people because it's not, you know, it died of a disease or whatever the case, I don't know. And then those pigs would be thrown. There was a big hole somewhere on, in the mountains that would throw the, those kinds of pigs there. I would go with there to see if we can't, you know, find a piece from the pig that can still be consumed. School became Lindelani's only escape, but here too, conditions were tough. We walked one hour to school and another hour back. And if it's raining, you're gonna get to school, you know, soaking wet. But you're not the only one. So there are other kids who are in the same position. There were farms all around, so no one ever thought of the outside world. We're not exposed to the outside world, and therefore you never think there is a better life. But Lindelani kept on going despite his hardship. In the year 2000, he finished his grade 12 with a distinction in maths, becoming the only student in school to pass metric that year. He was starting to see light at the end of the tunnel, but his problems went over. So going to university, I had no money. And I always knew I can't ask my mom for money because she doesn't have and therefore there is no one to help. And I remember we, I worked hard that December to get some money to register at university. And my mom had saved some and I went to UNP and they said they needed 500 rand registration fee at the time. And that's all I paid. I would go to the neighbors around the university and look for Saturday jobs. And then I would do the garden on every Saturday. No one knew I was doing that because you have pride, you know, you don't want people to see that you're a poor guy. And no one knew that that's what I was going through. But I would go there and she would give me 50 bucks and I would go buy books or food or bread or whatever. And that pushed me. 11 years of studying, relying on student loans and odd jobs, Lindelani finally graduated in 2011 with a PhD. Today, he's an academic at the University of Pretoria and a family man. Dr. Lindelani holds regular sessions with students from rural and township communities, helping them to integrate into university life. You have students from, you know, faraway places, and they come here, they expect, you know, a particular kind of place, they get overwhelmed by the city. Most of them, they end up in the, in the clubs and drinking and all these kinds of things. They get overwhelmed by the academics, they fail their, their studies and they drop out, they don't have money and all of these things. Unfortunately, there are very few lecturers who take the parental role, you know, and say, I'll talk to these guys, I'll, I'll hear what they, what they say. He is very approachable. You know, the first thing you, you notice about him is that he loves people. You go to him with any problem, you know, and he, he, he advises you. You need someone like that when you're here. You really do, because parents are back at home and some, don't, some parents, our parents, don't know what's going on because they've never been to university, you see. Lindelani now travels extensively across the country, sharing his grueling life journey with scholars. He gives them hope to look beyond their current circumstances and strive for excellence. Obviously, you've got a thousand, hundred young people that you talk to. Only one or two will, will, will be affected and change their life. 
one is good enough for me. If, if we can impact one life, we're getting there. Lindelani has also released a book. It's the story of his life, detailing the hurdles he faced to get where he is today. From a gardener to a renowned academic, Dr. Lindelani Mguni is proof that change is possible. I always say to myself, Mandela did not come from space, did he? Sisulu did not come from space. They were born out of this society and they made particular choices. And my end goal is I'm not going to give people academic, I mean, political freedom. I'm not going to give them economic freedom, but I'm going to push them to be exceptional people in whatever they do. It could be you. Inspiring stuff. We salute you, Dr. Lindelani Mguni. Well, that's it for now. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream, the people who believe in possibilities. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers.